Hello everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day. I am Jared Hinkey, the MLS coordinator at KAAR, here to bring you another edition of Tips and Tricks. For this edition of Tips and Tricks, I'm going to be looking at two reports that you can view in Flex MLS that will give you a broad overview of what the housing market looks like for the Knoxville area. To find them, I'll go under the menu, scrolling on down to statistics, then I want market trends. The first report I'll look at is the year over year comparison. And it is a great way that you can compare year to date to the previous year housing market. You can pick your date range here at the top. You can pick the property type that you wish to see. I'm gonna stick with single family. And I'm gonna come down here and check the box for show median sold price. I think that's a good field to include when you're looking at the report. Now that I have everything checked that I want to see, I can click on the next button and the report will begin to generate. It does break it down for property subtypes. So it'll show you condominiums and property subtype residential. It will also break it down by county as well. When I scroll down, I will get to my property subtype residential now and then scrolling all the way down to the bottom, I'll get the grand totals. The type of information you can see on this report is total active listings, new listings, number under contract, number sold, sold volume, average sales price, and there's that median sales price that I checked the box for. Let's take a peek at new listings compared to 2019. So scrolling down to my grand totals, I can see that we've actually added about 7% less new listings this year compared to 2019. But interestingly enough, if we go to number sold, scrolling on down to my grand totals again, actually sold more listings this year compared to 2019. So while we didn't add as many listings, we sold more. And there have been less listings this year that have expired and less listings that have canceled compared to 2019. Also take a peek at sold volume. So going on down to the grand total, we are potentially on track to outpace 2019 by almost a billion dollars. So right now we're up 19% for total sold volume compared to 2019. And that is kind of reflected in the median sales price. So my grand totals for median sales price, we can see it's up about 12% compared to 2019. So that is the year over year comparison. And again, it's a great way to compare your current year to the previous year. The other report I'll show you is the price range report. It's found in the same area that the year over year comparison is. So under the menu, statistics, market trends, and it's down here towards the bottom, the price range report. The report is one of the key reports that NAR uses to track housing sales activity. It's also the report that we publish on our website on a monthly and quarterly basis. You can pick the date range you wish to run the report for here at the top. I am going to pick November, I'm gonna pick last month. When I have my date range, I can go ahead and click next to run the report. And mainly what this report shows me is listings that were sold last month, the date range, and it breaks it down by number of bedrooms and the price range that it was sold for. So in November, there were four listings that had two or less bedrooms that sold for over $500,000. It will put condominiums in its own separate section, broken down the same way. Going down, we can get the totals. So there were 966 listings sold in November that had three or more bedrooms. They sold for an average price of 252,000 or a median price of 227,000. Below that, I'll have a table with some even bigger numbers. So all single family listings sold in November sold for a median price of 239.9. Jumping on over to this table on the right, we will get unit sales by days on market. And it looks like 
the majority of sales in November spent one to 30 days on market. The final table will be unit sales by financing type, and we can see the most common financing type for November was conventional at 912. That is a quick overview of the price range report. If you'd like to read some more in-depth facts about the housing market here in the Knoxville area, you can check out the inaugural edition of the Realtor Pulse. It is a newsletter put together by our very own Governmental Affairs Director Hanson Sale, and it provides you with a rundown of local policy news and the latest research and analysis about things you might care about. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for more tips and tricks videos in the future.